Howdy y'all. This is Rob. Welcome to my very messy shop and my very messy workbench. Today, boys and girls, kids of all ages, we're going to build something. We're going to build a blowpipe just because. What a blowpipe is, is lots of different things you might call it. But basically we use it for when you're getting a fire started to concentrate the air. You don't have to put your face right down in the flames and the smoke and blow on it and burn your mustache off. You can do it from a distance. You probably couldn't see that, but that's how they work. We're going to make it out of copper tubing and copper fittings and we're going to solder it all together. We'll go through the steps of it and I'll just kind of show you how we do it. So, let's move over here where we can see what we're doing. That looks about right. We need to move back just a little bit. There's a fairly good chance I'll edit a bunch of this out by the time we're done. Now, what we've got is a piece of three-quarter copper pipe that's two feet long. For the end that we blow through, we've got a one-inch to three-quarter adapter. For the other end, where the air will come out of, we're going to reduce it down to half-inch to concentrate the air. And for that end, we're going to use a three-quarter to half-inch adapter. And we'll put it all together. And on the very tip end of it, we're going to have a little cap, just a plain old cap right there, that we first need to drill a hole in. So, let me get my drill. And what we're going to use is a small drill bit. Some people like larger holes in the end of their pipe. Some people like smaller. We're going to start with a 3 seconds inch drill bit because that way it will really concentrate the air and force it to blow without having to take a breath every two minutes. Now we're going to drill a little hole right here in the end of it. And you notice I got the drill bit, since it's so small, chucked up real close. A bit this thin tends to bend and flex and if you're not careful you can break it. Let's drill our hole. The good thing is the copper drills very nicely so that it's soft. And it still gets hot though. And we're going to water it out just a little bit. Now these blowpipes are really handy when you go camping or if you've got a campfire in the backyard, that kind of thing. Alright, now we've got all our pieces ready. What we got to do is we need to clean up our pipe. Get it good and shiny so that it'll take the solder a little bit better. I've just got some good emery cloth here. This is actually the kind of stuff that goes on a drywall sander for sanding off drywall, but it gets really into the metal good and cleans it up very nicely. Do this guy. This will be easier because I've got it in the vise. And the other end. By the way, you probably can't tell it by looking, but let me assure you, it is hot today. And I mean completely hot. I'll show you the thermometer. I had to mark where the camera goes so I don't have to take 10 minutes to get it back. Let's see if you can see that. There we go. That is, looks like about 99 degrees. I can promise you it is about 101 outside. But in here out of the sun, it's not quite as bad. Alright, back to what we were doing. So, 
We got the outside pieces sanded. Now we need to clean up the inside pieces a little bit. I've got little wire brushes that are good for that. Now sure as heck, there's a couple of y'all that are probably plumbers and do this kind of stuff and you're going to tell me exactly what I'm doing wrong, which I'm okay with. But I've soldered lots of pipe. I've done lots of little plumbing stuff too. Back when I used to have just a regular handyman business and wasn't doing all the electrical stuff. And I always did fairly good with it, but there's always ways to improve. That cleaned out, moved to the three-quarter size. That was nice. And the big end of it. You know, an interesting thing, I say we use these on campfires and stuff a lot. We also use them when we're getting the fire going in our wood stove. Oh, where I put it together, I'm going to put a little bit of flux paste on. Woo, it's good and soft today. I probably should use a rag for this, but <laughs> my hands are already dirty. I'll tell you about that in just a second. There we go. Pop that guy on there. A little bit on this end. A little earlier when I was in here trying to get set up, I heard a pop back over yonder. Couldn't think what it was. After a minute, I started smelling something really bad. And I figured out what it was. Two or three months ago, when all my hens were starting to get in a mama mood and were starting to lay eggs, I was in the middle of a project putting a new door on here. And so for a few days, I didn't have a door at all. Well, one of the hens decided to come in here and put a clutch of eggs back over behind a little storage cabinet I've got yonder. And I guess she eventually gave up on them. And I never thought much about it until about 20 minutes ago. I can't even begin to tell you how bad it smelled in here. It was completely nasty. But I got back there, found the eggs, gathered them up, terrified that while I was gathering them, there would be another one pop and blow up all over me. They didn't, thankfully. But I am surprised. All right. Now, tap that guy on there. There we go. All right, now, We'll get to check out my soldering skills. I did one of these a couple of days ago. That one I just showed you, I finished up on. I did this guy. There's my hat. It came out pretty good. But, I don't know that I would trust it to hold water. Anyway, hey, let me check the camera. Make sure you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. I got a couple of fans going on me. One there, one over yonder. Alright, let's start with this guy here. One of the tricks for heating up a joint like this to solder is to heat towards the back of the joint, or in this case the center of it, because you want the solder to melt and flow in towards the heat. The solder is going to follow the heat a little bit. take it just a second to get warm. And then the trick will be not to get it too hot because then the solder doesn't flow as well. Now for a deal like this it's going to hold just fine even if the solder doesn't blow all the way around. Like I say we're not running water through it. We're just going to be blowing through it. Getting close. There we go. All right, now, you probably can't see it, but as I melt that solder there, it melts and flows right into that joint. Now, that's enough for that one. It doesn't really take very much, consider how tight that joint is. And this end's not quite as hot yet because it's a little bigger. Almost. Come on, baby. There we go. 
So we'll just start drawing again. We'll, there we go. Now we're golden. I said golden. All right, there's enough on that one. Now let's do this guy down here on the end. By the way, this is a great day for running a flame. Since it's already so warm, I'm kidding, it's still hot. There we go. And once it's hot, I can just pretty much take the flame off of it. And it'll continue to pull that solder in there. Should continue to pull it in there. There we go. That's an oh, that's nice. That's nice right there. And I missed we got a little on the outside. That's all right. I can wipe that off. Let's see if I can lay my finger on there and put on a show for you. All right. Now let's get this other end, and it'll be done just about that quick. We've got more fan over here, so this may mess with me, but I bet we'll be all right. I'm a little bit out of practice at this. As an electrician, I don't do a lot of copper pipe soldering anymore. I may have to move that fan. Maybe not. You notice how I look over the top of my glasses is because I'm old. It means I don't really need these glasses, right? And it should be hard. It changed color like it should. Hey, 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 there we go. That lost my flame there. Yeah, I knew this fan was going to make it a little bit harder, but we're close. There it goes. All right. Let me just lay a little solder right in there. It sucks in nicely. Heads up slightly on the bottom. That's how we know we're there. Put a little bit extra right there. All right. That, as they say, is that. That's good. Now, it's way too hot to handle unless I was smart enough to leave a glove laying here somewhere, and I thought I did. But I didn't. It's not terrible. But... Now you can see how the solder took in there. Not as pretty as it could be, but it will do. Now, can you believe I thought about putting my mouth on that just for a second? That would have been pretty special, wouldn't it? And sorry, that's plenty hot. Plenty hot. See what I could do? I bet I could take another one of these guys, set it in there and do that. Yes sir. Yes sir. That works. And that's about how that works. Now I'm going to send this to a guy. I made it just for him. If I was really good, I'd figure out a way to do a little tooling on here and put some symbology. Symbology? I'd put some symbols on here, some marks or something. Send to him. And I made the other one for another guy, but I hadn't seen him yet. One of these days I'll meet up with him and I'll take that to him and then he'll have one too. But anyway that's it. Let's see. I have to look in the back side of my camera so that you can see it. See there? Like that. And that is about all there is to it. Anyway that's it. This is Rob Painless. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think.